But I've been living in L.A. the last 10 years, you know. And I get uh, Vince Scully out there all the time. He does the Dodger games. And he loves to read lips. One of these announcers that he thinks he can read everybody's lips. He can't see diddly squat. He's like 200 yards away in the booth. Wait a minute, here comes Lasorda out of the dugout. He's fuming. He's in the umpire's face. It appears he wants to take the ump to Fuddruckers after the game. <laughs> well, that's what he said, Fuddruckers. The ump doesn't seem to like the place. <laughs> Apparently he's eaten there before. But I, like a lot of you, grew up listening to an announcer by the name of Harry Carey. And, uh, <laughs> he's such an icon, this guy. I listened to one game, he goes, Hey, here comes Sandberg around third, <laughs> safely in the second. <laughs> and he doesn't even correct himself. <laughs> nah, he's in scoring position. You know, he's toasted. He starts giving scores from around the league. We got a shutout brewing in from Milwaukee. The end of seven, the Indians five, the Packers two. <laughs> I could sure use another butt, Steve. I'm not totally hammered enough. <laughs> he's always coughing up something. It's unbelievable. He's so funny because the game is incidental to the story he's telling. You know, I was on Rush Street last night getting totally inebriated. I closed the one bar when I crossed the street, had a taco <laughs> at that greasy spoon. Uh, oh, there's a triple play. Anyway. <laughs> I had too many jalapeno peppers. I got indigestion, you know. That's a fastball off Grace's head, both benches empty. So, I'm looking for the Pepto-Bismol. He's on a stretcher, I think he's dead. <laughs> Finally, I get a hold of some K.O. Pepto. Cause I had the shits too, you know. Thanks for sharing it with us, Harry. He's more concerned what celebrity should have. Hey, Charlie Manson's here today. <laughs> the group of 50. This is parole day here in Wrigley. There's a grand slam. You know, I was in jail one time. This big Samoan wanted to tie me up and spank me. That's a no-hitter. You know, I wanted him to do it. Cause I'm a bun man on a cup. <laughs> hey, Steve. <laughs> Put that in your cigar and smoke it, you ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't forget Friday night's midget night here at Wrigley. <laughs> Anybody accompanying a legal midget gets in free. <laughs> and let's refrain from what the kids were doing last year, tossing the little guys over the wall to let their buddies in. Remember only one midget per customer. <laughs> hey, check out the halter top on that one. <laughs> Must be big titty day here at Ridley. <laughs> Flash your tits at the gate, you get in free. And remember only two tits per customer. I love how Harry always starts a sentence with, here's a guy, <laughs> Danny Jackson, hasn't won a game in his last 16 starts, and he's making 2.2 million dollars a year. I just can't figure it out. How does he look the owner in the eye when he collects his check? He's got to have a ski mask on because all he's doing is ripping the club off. <laughs> hey, the Pope is here today. <laughs> the group of 30 Cardinals. I guess it's Big Hat Day here at Wrigley. 
You know, a couple kids were poking the Pope in the back of the head. I guess they couldn't see the game with his big hat and all. He just reeled around and gave the one kid an elbow to the forehead. And I don't blame the guy. I mean, here's a guy. There's a throat at first. Here's a guy who's worked his whole life to get to where he is. They give him a hat, let him wear the hat! <laughs> hey, Snoop Doggy Dog is in the house. <laughs> like Harry's gonna say, in the house. <laughs> you know, Steve, Snoop Doggy Dog backwards. His poops got he got. <laughs> what are with his glasses, man? His glasses keep getting bigger every year. You know what I'm He looks like Adam Ant now. He's gonna walk into the booth one day and go, you know, Steve, I can't see a goddamn thing. I'd love to bullshit you, but I can't see a goddamn thing. You're better off just sticking your hand up my ass and moving my lips and putting on an old recording of me, because I can't see a goddamn thing. You guys sound great, man.